So yesterday I uploaded a video comparing all the bombs that you can get for your planes. So what I decided to do is to properly test both the explosive and the cluster bombs. The result of this can be seen in this video. All right, let's start off by cluster bombs. As you could see in yesterday's video, the cluster bombs have a bigger punch when it comes to direct impact. I used the tank as an example to test this on, and it would take four explosive bombs and two cluster bombs. I had tested this three times in a row, and it was getting consistent results even with the insurgent. Now when it comes to doing an actual carpet bomb down the middle of a lane of cars, we actually went from the far edges of the runway all the way to the middle. The result of that can be seen in the upcoming clips. So in the first clip you can see that the direct impact of the cluster bomb takes out all the three targets that was sort of close next to it, so the blast radius is pretty decent. However, the clusters around it failed to reach the cars on the left side. These cluster bombs did not get a direct impact on the car itself and hit next to it. So that means you don't actually have to get a full direct impact on these vehicles in order for them to explode. Now in the next clip you can once again see the direct impact of the cluster bomb and you can also see that the blast radius isn't really that great. It does seem to do some damage to that Washington right there as well next to the police car, but it fails to explode. Now in the next clip we gathered around a bunch of people and we made them go into some kind of circle so you could see what the blast radius is. For some reason the police officer decided to join in and he regretted it very quickly. Now as you could see the blast radius isn't really that great. But if you look in the small clip after that you could see that the clusters after the initial explosion do actually do enough damage to take down an online player. In a clip after that by dumb luck I happened to drop a bomb next to Roy and nothing happened with those clusters. The main reason for that is that the clusters go on a specific pattern and sometimes they just simply fail to hit an online player. These patterns also seem to be very random so it's a bit of a hit or miss when it comes to the cluster bombs. Now, if you're thinking that this is only a thing when it comes to online players, you are actually indeed wrong. Because when we move the vehicles a bit closer to each other, it actually turns out that that little tiny cluster explosion actually managed to trigger an explosion of a vehicle. Now let's move on to explosive. Explosive bombs are definitely the bombs you want to use if you're looking to take out large amounts of vehicles or players in general. The blast radius of the explosive bombs are definitely a lot bigger and you should definitely not be messing around with them because they definitely pack a very big punch. The blast radius of the explosive bombs are definitely a lot bigger than the cluster bombs. However, with the cluster bombs, you get the special surprise after that. Now in this clip we park the cars closer again to test out how devastating the explosive bombs actually are. And it turns out that if you have a well placed bomb in the middle of four cars, that you can actually explode them all with one bomb. So the blast radius of the explosive bombs are actually quite big. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna shoot your head down. And last but not least, I wanted to be extra sure that the testing I did yesterday on the tank was still accurate. And it turns out that on the armored V12, it takes the same amount of explosive bombs as it takes for the cluster bombs. Now obviously, all these different vehicles have different kind of results when it comes to the amount of armor they have. It could just very well be that the V12 has a certain amount of armor making this result come out. So obviously, it's very much impossible to completely pinpoint which bomb is better for armored vehicles. However, because because of the test I did yesterday, you can definitely see that the cluster bomb has a higher direct impact damage than the explosive bomb does. So what would my final verdict be? Actually pretty simple. If you're going for an all around bomb that will simply make sure that everything is going to be blown up to bits, then the explosive bomb is definitely for you. However, if you're looking for a bomb that will leave a little bit of a surprise and actually make your enemies scratch on the back of their heads what just happened, the cluster bomb is definitely for you. See, the thing about the cluster bomb is that it has a higher direct impact and it also leaves those little clusters. They can be very random and also be very dangerous at the same time as you could see with the test results we have today. We spent a good three hours trying to figure everything out and I want to thank each and every one of you all who joined and helped me test this thing it would have been an absolute nightmare if I had to do everything on my own. So judge it for yourself. What do you want? Do you want to have a bomb that has one single big radius explosion? Or do you want to have one with a bigger direct 
impact damage and also leaving some clusters and actually blowing up more than what you came for. So yeah, I hope you found this useful. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you all later.